Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare. Plus, most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. Internet service in Kentucky could soon be greatly improved following a grant signed by Governor Bashir. Over $1 billion will be going toward local internet and broadband providers as part of the largest ever investment in high-speed internet for the state. The goal for this grant is to bring stable and affordable internet to every Kentuckian. We knew we needed a um, pretty substantial amount of, of, of help from the government to, 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 to be able to incentivize and make it feasible for the private sector to build out to our most remote and rolly lo located areas. And I definitely think $1.1 billion is a good, a good place to start for, for, for the state. So it's an exciting day, but um, as I mentioned, I think the, the, the most important work has yet to come because now it's about making sure that that $1.1 billion gets to the areas that need it most and, and, and most importantly is, is ultimately won by providers that um, are seeking to serve uh, the unserved populations, if that makes sense. Many individuals in the state have been asking for better, faster internet for years, and this grant can make that a reality. Higher internet speeds allow for better means of communication, entertainment, and employment. It's, it's been, um, I guess, speculation up to this point of just how much money the state of Kentucky was going to get. Everybody was saying around a billion, but today confirmed, you know, 1.1 billion or, you know, 1. Uh, 086, if we're, if we're being exact, I, I believe, is a... Uh, is a, is a huge deal and it's a huge opportunity for anybody that cares about this issue um, to, to, to put their head down and really get this problem solved once and for all. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.